New additions to Ukrainian language orthography have come into force, despite the initial scare that some Ukrainians felt many of these norms have already been in use. Apparently this is how people talk. This is real Ukrainian language. The one we learned in school is somewhat artificial. On the one hand, new rules only changed the spelling of separate words, yet, on the other, they added new variants to the existing norms. According to experts, one of the main features of new orthography is its simplicity. Changes in orthography is a normal practice that is done from time to time, because language is a living organism that is ever-changing. The language has to respond to the challenges of the new times. If there are any changes happening in society, then the language needs to reflect them. Five years ago, one of the major changes in the life of Ukrainians was the war started by Russia. Along with the fighting on the front lines, there is information warfare. Each step of Ukraine that demonstrates national identity is criticized and ridiculed by the Russian media. They obviously didn't ignore the law on the language and new spelling. We have to remind you that the letter F is from Armenian alphabet. Both Russian and Ukrainian languages have the letter F. Some might say that we're too critical towards the knowledge of Russian propagandists. Some might say we're expecting from them too much. The truth, though, is that Ukrainians now use both letters F and T in the words borrowed from Greek language. Yet the Russian propaganda expressed the strongest feelings on the matter of new orthography of Russian surnames. Донский, Трубецкой, Трубецкий. Ну и Толстой должен был стать вообще-то Толстый, но, видимо, не хватило совести исковеркать фамилию известного писателя. Russians themselves are not bothered by the fact that they constantly mispronounce and distort Ukrainian surnames. Not Petrenko, but Petrenka. Not Katsubinsky, but Katsubinsky. And not Kirilenko, but Kirilenka. I absolutely don't care what Russians do to their language. This is their right. And I don't even want to care whether they are bothered by my language. The discussion on this issue should be within the country and among the scientists that study the language. In its many features, this orthography is much alike the orthography that was adopted in 1933. The Soviet government deemed it to be nationalistic. These norms were adopted in order to make Ukrainian closer to Russian. It was Stalin's policy to make language alike. Authors of the old orthography were executed. Orthography itself changed to make Ukrainian resemble Russian. Under the guise of clearing Ukraine from the nationalist threat, many well-known Ukrainian linguists, members of the Orthography Commission, were repressed. This aggressive expansion of the Russian language into Ukrainian grammar lasted for almost 100 years. Old words came back. They were not invented by linguists. They came back to our day-to-day -day lives and took an important place, even after being discarded and repressed in the past. I cannot call it differently. Linguists say there will be no issues with the transition to the new orthography. In the next few years, both old and new norms will be used. Those who want to perfect their Ukrainian language can attend special courses for free. Igor Madalyan, UATV.